What's going on boys and girls, it's Johnny back in here with a great video for you today. Take a little bit of time off every now and again guys. Johnny has been off for a few days, it's time to get back to work. For the ladies and gentlemen out here, let's take a look at this very nice young lady here who is, um, well, I mean, let's just see what she's talking about guys. I just had my first rejection in the whole of my life. Wow. Wow, that's a long time. Also, um, why are you even still trying to date? Like you are way outside of the, no offense. Look, I, I want you to find happiness 20 years ago and settle down and get off the CC, but you, you didn't, so. 56, and I tell you what, it was the bitterest pill I've had to swallow ever. Right, you mean like men have to every day since ever when dealing with females? Like since middle school on up through the end of their life? Every day from women we deal with this and you, the princess, finally broke her crown, guys. What a shock. I gave my heart and soul to this person. Oh, really? You gave your heart and soul and all of a sudden they didn't want you? Well, what a shock. What a sh I can't believe that. He probably has never felt anything like that at all. And I can't believe that I was so badly hurt. Oh. I just believed everything. Oh, you, you believed everything? Like women are sugar and spice and all things nice. Find a good woman and you'll be happy forever and y'all will be married and happily ever after. You believed everything? Really? No, no man has ever believed all that stuff. He was telling me I believed that I was the love of his life, and I oh. believe that... We've heard that too before from you ladies. It's, it really is quite amusing when someone says that and then they just vanish on you. You're like, wait a minute, I thought we were doing this together. No? Oh, okay. If that's the case, we'd push through and we'd see things right. But what I've realized now is that you can never be the right thing for the wrong person. So Never, for, okay. What you should have realized is two people can work at things and overcome these things together. But again, it's more of the hypocrisy and more of the BS of modern women. Oh, well, the right person. Well, this is this. You're going to go through hundreds of people throughout your life, get to your very old age. No offense, ma'am, but you know, lizard skin. You're going to get to your age and still continue down making the same dumb mistakes, thinking, well, there's got to be somebody out here who's just right for me. And no, everyone is flawed, so you have to learn to accept people for who they are. Remember acceptance, women? It's the things you all talk about and tell everybody about, and you, but you don't accept men. You go from man to man to man. This one's broke. This one's broke. This one's no good. This one's... A... It's you. You can't learn to love anyone because you can't pair bond, probably because you've been pumped and dumped most of your life, which appears to have been a long time. He wasn't my person. That was a very, very, very hard lesson. <sighs> wasn't my person. It's, it's comical at this point, guys. More stardust, more crystals and zodiac signs. Well, it just wasn't my person. Just I'll meet my person one day, and your person is not going to be attracted to you when you finally meet them because you, it's been so many years of you discarding people. Oh, no good, no good, no good. Now someone finally discards you, and you're like, how could they? I, this was, I was love. I believed all the... How could they do this to me? Um, you've done it to everyone else in your life up until this point, and now someone does it to you, and you're like, well, this is weird. Uh-huh. To learn after the dedication I'd put into you. <sighs> Men, you can't make this shit up. Seriously. Relationship. And the fact that I'd never, ever experienced that. Welcome to manhood, dear. Emotion ever in my life. Well, now that you're old and have aged out of the dating and sexual game, it's like you're a man now. Welcome to the team. You're gonna have to work now. No one's ever hurt me. And the fact that it was the person that I really wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Oh, boo-hoo. We men have never been through that every day, ever. Thousands and thousands of men everywhere around the world go through the exact same thing every day. But you just now have experienced what it's like to be hurt? <sighs> this whole thing is boring. It's really, really tough. Oh. It doesn't kill you. It makes you stronger. 
Um, oof. And here I am in Amsterdam to give me a head start in creating and mapping out the rest of my life. You got two weeks. Better get started. Can you believe this woman who is over 50 years old got rejected for the first time in her life? Mm. How privileged can you possibly be? This woman hit the wall 20 years ago. Yes. She wouldn't last a day in a man's shoes. Men start to experience rejection the moment they start to feel attracted to girls yes. and try to pursue them. Women are more fragile than you think they are. Yeah, well, start yeah. rejecting women, guys. Say no to women more often. All of them. Like, just, you know, hang out, have fun, do whatever you want to do. No cohabitation, no marriage, no children, no. And then just tell them, yeah, no thanks. And then the, eventually they'll learn what they've been doing to people. And make it a more natural part of your everyday life. Mm -hmm. It's about time they understand what it feels like to be a man. Yep. Damn straight. Okay. So I was just talking to my guy friend and holy shit, the stars just aligned for me and I have to share. <sighs> Your boobs are out. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying like, it's hard to take you serious or respect you at all when your boobs are out. I mean, you, you're, doing, you, you're doing this. You're dressed like a 304 and you know, you want respect. Let me guys tell you what I think with my, no thanks, no, no. This information. So a few weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, I was seeing somebody and it was, it was pretty light, but we were going on dates and we were. Women, you got to stop with this bullshit. I was seeing someone and it, it was pretty light as in I was really just wasting his time and it, it's getting his attention. Okay. Having a really great time. And he was the one he was communicating. He was texting every day. He was calling me like he was doing all the right stuff. And when he went away, we had plans for the week when he was getting back and everything was... Notice how far back she's put the camera now at this point to make sure that her boobs are in the shot. Did y'all notice that? I don't know if you noticed, but now it's... She's holding the camera way out. Hey, uh, guys, I just want to tell you guys that... I mean, you could have just been like this or set the camera up on a tripod or a table or propped it up on something, but it's got to be this wide angle shot can you, you guys get in a good shot of my boobs look can you see my arm tattoo over here i got a nice little line for some reason i mean great and we had our date and we went out to dinner and we went to a movie premiere and we had the best time and it was you know i really want to be with you and yeah we got it just let's get to the point here holy shit i'm feeling really great about this and i'm so ready and da 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 and you know it was it was all of those things and so then we finally went back to my house we hooked up we had a great night Hooked up. Uh-huh. I woke up in the morning, and I remember I was like, oh, cool. So, like, I'm free this weekend. Uh, my friend canceled. Do you want to hang out Saturday? And all of a sudden, it was, oh, I'll check my calendar. I'm not sure. Instantly, as a girl, I was like, there's that gut feeling. Something's off. Well, he got what he was after, and you are dressed like a hoe bag. No offense. And tattooed like a hoe bag. So, he was like, oh, she's a hoe bag. So, I'm going to sleep with her. Because this is, she's a outwardly putting it out there that this is what she's about and that's what you're doing women when you do this and you're tattooed up and you got the boobs out you're like hey everybody i'm a hoe bag i don't have class or sophistication don't appreciate me for who i am as a human being but uh, here's my boobies and we men are like oh cool i love boobies i'll hit i'll sleep with you and then we do and then you're like hey let's have a relationship let's get closer and we're like oh no no, no. this was remember you just the boobs were out I don't want to be close with you because your boobs are going to be out later and some other guy's going to be like, hey, a hoe bag, I love the boobies. This is not, women, you do this to yourselves. I mean, really. And he kind of rushed out, scurried out and was like, oh, I got to get going. I got to get to work. Yep. And maybe I didn't hear from him all day. And then right. later in the day, I was like, hey, dude, we all good? And sure enough, I get the, oh, you know, I've been thinking about it and I'm just not ready for a relationship. Well, exactly. You were dressed like a hoe bag. You tattooed up like a hoe bag. And then... You had your boobs out, and he was like, hey, this will be fun. And then you were like, hey, we've been really light. Those were your words. It was a light relationship. And now you're like, oh, all of a sudden he has sex with you. And you're like, hey, I'm free Saturday. I'm free Sunday. What are you doing tomorrow morning? Hey, let's hang out. Let's, you slept over last night. Hey, uh, and he's like, oh, uh, calm down. Um, you're just a quick thing. Hello? And so we stopped seeing each other, and I was racking my brain trying to... You weren't seeing each other. He was tolerating you to get to what he wanted. 
and then you pushed for way more. You're saying, well, what changed? And my friend made such a great fucking point. Nothing actually changed. So here's the thing. When you're dating somebody, it... You have tattoos between your boobs and you want to be taken seriously as a wife potential or girlfriend. You I mean, what's wrong with you girls when you do this kind of stuff and you think, hey, this guy doesn't want a relationship. No, he doesn't. You literally are embodying everything it means to be a 304. And you can say, well, I'm not a 304. I'm a good person. And I, you're wearing a 304's costume for sure. So it's kind of they wrote a check they weren't ready to cash so. no you accepted a check that was written in crayon and printed on paper money yeah i mean so you can't really blame the person that wrote the quote unquote check when you were at the bank of stupidity like yeah sure this looks good this is i mean just just look at yourself. Oh, he might have been super into me and everything was really great. No, he wanted to get super into you. But we know what changed? The circumstances. Things became real. It was, now you gotta put your money where your mouth is. Okay. No. Fine, then we're just gonna be seeing each other. Okay, cool. So what are we doing this weekend? And what did it do? No, you did that. He was still just trying to have fun and be casual. You changed it. Take some responsibility. And then all of a sudden it's, oh shit, I actually don't think I'm ready for that. He was never ready for that. You said it was light yourself. Those were your own words. And then you pressed for more just because he put his penis in you. And now you're like, hey, let's do that. Hey, what about this? And he's like, whoa, hold on. Whoa, whoa. no, you're just a tattooed up girl with your boobs out. I was, we ain't, I'm not trying to have a family and a relationship with you. So it has nothing to do with, oh, well, you did something to scare him away. Yes, you did. Take some personal accountability. Hey, or what did I do that did... It was nothing. It was truly the circumstance that this person said he wanted a relationship. No. It's like a lot of people. You say you want real until real is right in front of you. Ugh, that is not real. Your makeup is fake. Your outfit is hoey. And this, everything about you is fake. Those tattoos, you had your skin colored artificially. Not real. You are not real. And then when you get real, you don't know what the fuck to do with it because you now have to be real yourself. And for a lot of people, they don't have that. They don't have that capacity or that space to do Right. It was the guy's fault, of course. Do so. So, listen, maybe, maybe it was you. Maybe you did something. I don't know. But that's when you can ask somebody. But if it came out of nowhere and it was like a complete 180 where you don't understand what happened, it's usually the circumstances that change and the person got spooked. This woman sounds very deluded. They were dating for a long time. They hooked up and coincidentally, he did not want to see her again after they slept together. Hmm. She mentioned that there was pressure for a relationship, oh. but I did not see any pressure. He pumped and dumped. She's trying to internalize it in her mind to mean something else. She's living in fantasy. Fantasy. Boys, I'm gone with John. Thank you so much for coming along. It's great to see, well, to be seen by everyone again. Guys, make sure you check out my buddy Modern Woman's Archives channel. Uh, great channel. Lots of good videos there. Uh, yeah. Leave your comments down below, guys. What do you think? Is this wrong? Are these two ladies absolutely crazy? Is the whole world uh, problematic except for them because they're perfect? Uh, let me know in the comments. Hit like. Hit subscribe. I'm Johnny. We'll see you next time, boys.